Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Thursday, July 30th, 2020 by Gaia Blooming. I am Mimi and our energy mantra for today is, it is my responsibility to bring love to this moment. And today, we definitely have some interesting astro going on. At one point, we will have four planets all hanging out at the 20 degree mark, all interacting mushy with each other so we'll look at that um but even just the cards i pulled i pulled three kings <laughs> i pulled the king of cups i pulled uh the king of earth or the king of pentacles and i pulled the king of swords in reverse as well as a knight and a major arcana so pretty intense cards to look at too with this very interesting energy so let's start with these 20 degree energies okay so we have the moon continuing through Sagittarius moon and Sagittarius asks us to hold a higher perspective um, to look from a higher degree now we do want to remember with the south node in Sagittarius we don't want to fall into old Sagittarius habits the biggest one I would say is uh, being a know-it-all. <laughs> so be aware of that continue north node Gemini work of being open, being curious. Um, so Moon in Sagittarius is going to be one of the 20 degree energies. We have Jupiter in Capricorn holding 20 degree energy as well. So Jupiter in Capricorn, even though it's retrograde, it's reminding us of the promise of a new hope. It's funny, I'm wearing a Star Wars shirt right now. <laughs> I'm wearing a Rebel shirt. Um, so a new hope. Uh, in what we are going to be building in the future. We have Neptune retrograde in Pisces. Neptune retrograde in Pisces definitely bringing up some past life old spiritual stories and we have finally Mercury in Cancer at 20 degrees. So all these energies at 20 degrees that Mercury in Cancer um, connects to an emotional piece and my feeling is as I look at this like let's just mush it all together into one getting mushy with it um, what I feel from this personally is I, I've heard, seen this with clients I have felt this in myself a lot of what's going on right now it is bringing up past lifetime fears of apocalyptic times um, for me personally it is Atlantis but People are getting it from Lemurian times, Atlantean times, Avalon, um, <laughs> volcanoes, probably other planets, you know, so many different levels of these things. And there is this collective fear from those times that we have gone through these traumatic events. It's coming up. That Sagittarius and Jupiter energies, Moon and Sagittarius is like, um, we can have other positive apocalyptic possibilities. Apocalypse just means pulling the veil out or seeing seeing behind the scenes kind of energy. It does not have to mean end of the world. And Jupiter, like I said, Jupiter and Capricorn, even as there is continued destruction release going on, Jupiter is like, stay hopeful. What is it that you want to build? Now, 20 degrees, it's a degree of nurturing. So you may have to nurture the trauma part of yourself. Um, Trauma-informed therapy, it's a very good thing. So be informed that even if you're not conscious of these stories, a lot of times these stories, they come with us and they hold on with us. So even if you're not, be gentle with yourself. Be gentle with your fears that are potentially coming up in and uh, through this. So awareness there is very important. What was the other thing I was going to say? Nurturing energy. Just being gentle with yourself. Oh, and nurturing your physical body through all of this. Again, the energy of fear can be very heavy and hard to carry. Um, so what kind of nurturing do you need? When we have this many planets, four planets hanging out at 20 degrees, it's a strong call for nurturing. And that's one of the things, the energy mantra of the day. Like, bring love to where you're at. And part of where you're at is right here in that physical body. So being good to that energy, be good to your body, your body will be good to you uh, in return. So like I said, really, really strong energies. That 
uh, moon Neptune connection and the Mercury Neptune connection both of those also have really strong intuition so if you haven't had any memories of this today could be a good day to meditate and just see is there anything that I need to know so just tune in listen to see if there is anything you need to know as I'm looking at the chart I'm like, what is this connection happening right there oh, okay that's already over. <laughs> moon, moon in, uh, moon in Uranus, but that already passed. Um, all right, so let's see if there's any other connections we need to look at today. Oh, yes, there is. Very much so. Okay, so here's one of the other things, and this may have to do with some of the card energies. Uh, I have Venus in conjunct Pluto today. So Venus moving past that 22 degrees, moving into three, uh, 23 degrees in conjunct, not seeing eye to eye. So here we have Venus. Venus aligning itself with an orb of the North Node in Gemini, the changes, the necessary changes. And part of the necessary change, which is one thing that we've been talking about, is, oh yeah, necessary change, here's the change card, is the allowing of the yin to step forward uh, and accept, accept the yin's power in this world. And that Pluto energy, that could be that power energy. It's like, well, how do how do I step up into the yin power and not make it young like, so to speak, you know? Um, there's an analogy trying to form in my head and it's not quite coming through. But how can the yin step into yin power versus putting on a dress and calling it yin power when it's really a very young like energy. And I think this is something that we all need to look at in and of ourselves as we allow our yin energy to step up. One of the things, again, I said this the other day and I'm still feeling that in this energy too, I call my power back to me. Keep stepping into that, keep calling that energy through the day as we build into this Venus Pluto in conjunct energy, I call my power back to me. I also feel like this is going to be very strong as Venus continues through Gemini and will make it in conjunct to Saturn in just a few days. I call my power back to me, stepping up into your personal authority. Your personal authority is when you believe yourself. Your personal authority is when you don't need anybody out there to agree with you or believe with you, to stand firm in that energy. And that's how you can be yin about it, uh, you know, <laughs> rather than falling into, you will believe me, I will bully you into believing me. And I feel that's the part of this control energy in reverse. Um, just be aware of it, but be aware of those control tendencies because that's one of, that's, that's been one of the uh, go-tos <laughs> in the way that we've been uh, learning and living. I also really like these two cards hand in hand. Claiming your abundance. Again, I think a really important thing at this time, claiming your abundance, knowing this is an abundant world, despite the fear of lack that is very rampant, there's still so much money in the world and at play, and you all have a right to it. We all have a right to it. And that's part of that Venus energy too. Not letting the powers that be take you out of your true inherent abundant nature. And I know when you're in a place of fear or you're in a place of feeling lack, that it can be hard to tune into that lesson or to that energy. And this is just a reminder that's here. And here we have that healing card right there with it. So do tune into that as well. And again, spirit of possibilities, um, moon in Sagittarius holds that energy. I also feel like too, the yin energy, part of this thing, allowing uh, emotional energy to come through as needed. That's part of the yin taking back its claim and bringing through these changes. The slowing down card, be here now, be very present, take it easy, really strong nurturing energy, like I said, going on in the astro today. Um, so be very aware of that. I do want to mention we still have Grand Trine in fire energy. All the fire signs ignited. Impatience could be up, but it's also very creative. Lilith is approaching Mars. So finding our personal yin and yang balance, but realize that you may be ready to like, if you come into contact with this, your Lilith energy may really not be in a place to deal with it very kindly. So be aware of that fiery energy coming up 
as well as that in conjunct. So I think that's good for today. <laughs> um, you can book a reading with me. Email me, mimiclark at gmail.com. Besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you. You have the power. And stay curious. Namaste.